to Kato's Corners here on Game Guys. I am Sun Coach Kato. And today we are now going to make our way towards the, I think, the Cerulean Coast. I believe this is the way we go. Yeah, so once we get to about this area, we're going to hit this road and then we start curving down. Look at the fire dog. There's like a cave entrance here. I've, ooh, orange item. The Blessing of America. Ooh, okay. What does that do? Let's not jump off the cliff. Okay. Apparently I was incorrect. I need to consult the directory. One moment, please. Okay, after consulting the directory, we gotta start here. This map can be a little confusing at times. And then we go this way. Howdy ho, flipperoos. Huh. This was not the way I intended to go. Oh, right. I did take a wrong turn. My bad. <sighs> okay, then we go down this way. And then we go this way. All right, now I know. I was supposed to get off the road, not continue down the road. Uh, so that, so that's how it's gonna be. Got it. Oh, hey, what's this? Revered Spirit Ash. Now you're inside these uh, underground caves. And here's another side of grace. Hip, hip, hooray. Come, Terrence. We make our way to the Cerulean Coast. Yes, I haven't forgotten about Terrence. I know it's been a little while since I mentioned him, but he's still with us. Uh, hmm. What about this way? We have to go this way. Okay, yes. Oh boy, parkour time. Let's go. Hello. There we go, Spartacus. Yep. Uh, no! I wanted to pick up the purple item. Well, we'll go backtrack in the meantime. I don't know if there's anything here. The answer is no. Hey, look. It's birds that are all about that death. My cock and Christ. God, you thought the cliff racers from Morrowind were obnoxious. These death birds. Man, they just... They are p fucking everywhere. And you can take that exact statement in a couple different directions. Please don't die, please don't die. God damn it! Well, that is what I like to call an oopsie whoopsie. So now I must make my way back. Well, if there's a silver lining to this whole uh, endeavor, I get an extra stab at that purple item. There we go, it's a cookbook. Wee. Ooh. Ah. And the death birds. Hmm. I'm digging this hallway. I am digging this hallway. Yeah, there was like not much runes there. Okay. And now. There we go. Woo. Side of grace. Let's tickle it. You know, they say you should go outside and touch grass. I am one-upping everyone because I go outside and I touch grace. Parkour. See, these are regular birds. They are not death birds. Look at the death birds. This, I believe, is a thing we can knock down. Of course, it's not going to be far enough. You need an actual ranged weapon. <laughs> Sounds like those ranged weapons are giving you a hell of a lot of diarrhea. <laughs> ranged weapon users be all like, excuse me, fellas, I got to use the restroom. <laughs> <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
<laughs> yeah, that's what I think about ranged in uh, Elden Ring. <laughs> Bit of an over-exaggeration, but it's a little annoying when I have ranged capabilities, but it's just not good enough to knock the pot down. Man, look at these goats. Big ol' lightning goats. And time to touch Grace. We have finally made it to the Cerulean Coast. So by going this way, we will now get the next map fragment. Here we go. All right, so now we've, oh fuck, finally, we finally made it. All right, I know it's been a little while, but we finally got to the Cerulean Coast. Now we can go collect more scatter tree fragments. Starting with over here. We'll need to grab, actually, there's one just around the corner here. And there's one, like, basically here, but we kind of have to go... This is, pr I'm, this is probably where I'm going to go. I'll probably put off the fissure for a bit. Hmm. Around... Oh, wait, where's... Wasn't there, like, a Mikola cross? Yeah, there should be, like... Oh, there it is. And we can now... I am touching both blue grass and grace. Man, I am just so productive today. Oh, and of course, we must, uh, mustn't forget. And there's another one right there. Okay, next to scatter tree fragments. It's gonna be a doozy. And we can increase our scatter tree blessing. Oh, yes. We're gonna go back here, and we're gonna go fight another hippo, and there's a cave here that I believe we can collect yet another scatter tree fragment. Oh, we're so gaming. We are just gaming. Hang on, fuck. Uh, yeah, still gaming. Just need to, need to get my bearings in. Actually, I think I need to go around this way. We take a right, ah, excuse me. It's a shadow dog. Oh, look at the little deer. This is actually kind of a beautiful little coast. It's all lavendery and blue, and there's like wormies that are also blue that can turn red when they uh, get all mad. I have to get up there somehow, and I forget how. Wait, don't I need to... I might know how to get there. But in the meantime, we are here. Let's go to the cave. This is the cave. Scatter tree fragment. I'm just gonna leave now. God, even the now we got death wormies, death birds, death worms, uh, death dudes, uh, regular wormies, the cerulean grass. Let's go back over here, and we're gonna go in the uh, other direction. There you go. Hi there. And welcome back to the Cerulean Coast. While you're here at the Cerulean Coast, please don't eat the actual Cerulean. You'll probably get diarrhea. This has been a public service announcement from the Shadow Realm. Enjoy your stay. Also, be careful of the death birds. Because they're everywhere! There's so many death birds. And this one turtle! Okay, moving on. Oh, I'm pretty sure it was a tortoise. I don't know. Leave a comment below if that was a turtle or a tortoise. I oftentimes struggle to tell the difference. Okay, I have to go up this thing. Hmm. I could have just came here first. Okay, well, now I know. Wait for it, wait for it. Okay, try this again. Ah, okay, I made it. He's running through the Cerulean coast, and then he's going to maybe have diarrhea because the spores get in his throat! Fuck's sake, how do I get up to the top part? I have an idea. Okay, let me just- let me, wait, hang on. Is this even... Never mind, it's a dead end. I'm gonna try going in a different direction. Okay, let's try going this way. And then we just kind of loop around here. I need to consult the directory an additional time. 
Okay, so after consulting the directory, okay, this is what we need to do. One second, I have to consult the directory again because I forgot what exact direction to go. Okay, so once again, I had to take another hyper-specific path to get to this top portion. That's just how I feel in general. About navigating the geography is just... It's beautiful, but it's frustrating that I have limited... That I, as the gamer, have limited options of traversing the geography. Like, it's a lot more... It's very hallway... It's a lot more hallway-centric than I was expecting. Alright, that dude's having either a terrible time or a fantastic time. I still can't tell. I still can't tell. Alright, let's go pay him a visit. Let's say hello. Oh yeah, I'm pretty sure there's like an NPC invader just down the road. Okay, so the dude was indeed having a terrible time. Not a fantastic time. Hey, look, more death birds. You know what? There. I'm swatting them like flies. I have them mounted up on Torrent because I was expecting to be invaded here. Oh, okay, there we go. Yep. I'll slug down an Estus. That was so obnoxious. What is it about these games and like they have two health left and then all of a sudden they do their super bullshit tedious RNG maneuver where they, they bounce back, they bounce back, you can't hit them, they bounce back. God! Hmm. Oh yeah, now we gotta go through this cave. All right, Torin, this is where we part ways for now. And I activate my lantern. We're in the dragon's pit. Welcome to the dragon's pit. All right, guys. Well, uh, I appreciate you for tagging along here at Sun Coach Cato plays the Shadow of the of the ho ho I mean Shadow of the Erd Tree. I, I I get a little frustrated with the geography, but this has been a very fantastic time. It's just I wish that we we had more options in terms of geographical exploration. It just feels a little restrictive. That's all. Terrence is still having a good time nonetheless. All right. I'll uh, catch you fellas and ladies later. Peace out.